Conservatives are furious with Dolly Parton over her appearance at the Emmys. She actually took the stage with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. And of course, their you know speech got a little political. Now, they were in a movie together, nine to five, and that's the reason why they were on stage together to present the award for best supporting actor in a mini series. And the country star didn't say anything about Trump, but Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin did. So let me tell you what the statements were. So Jane Fonda said the following, in that movie referring to nine to five, we refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Then Lily Tomlin said, and in 2017, we still refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Now, Dolly Parton didn't say anything about that. She didn't say anything about Trump, but just the mere fact that she was there sandwiched between these liberal women really upset and hurt the feelings of Trump supporters. So let me give you a few examples. One commenter on Lily Part, uh, Lily Parton, Dolly Parton's Facebook page said that he or she was saddened that you would stand with these idiots and bash our POTUS. Another person said, you just threw so many of your fans under the bus. And another commenter said, you stood up there while those two ran their mouths, you are just as bad. She didn't say anything about Trump. She just stood there as you know these actresses made their comments. And like, who's the snowflake now? Like really, who's the snowflake? Like really, no one's allowed to criticize Trump. You're gonna, no one's allowed to be in the same room as individuals who criticize <laughs> Trump because if they are in that same room, guilt by association. Yeah, that I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, come on, man. And look, they're uh, first of all, they're from a movie which is all about fighting against this chauvinist boss. Okay, that that's that's part of the movie. Mm-hmm. Their boss is this a hole chauvinist, and it makes he takes chauvinism to these movie extremes. So the joke is on point that way. And you've got a guy, like him or don't, the President of the United States is clearly a chauvinist as well. Frankly, he falls kind of into the same category as the character from their movie. So it's sort of a clean joke. You may not like it, you may not think the politics belongs in the Emmys, but this just in. Politics has always been in these award shows. I have no issue with it. I mean, I think, and and the idea that Dolly Parton, who, yeah, she just happened to be, she knew what was going down, she knew what they were gonna do, mm-hmm. but uh, that she should be uh, tarred in the same way is uh, is odd to me. As Anna says, it kind of reflects how thin-skinned GOP supporters can be. I mean, it's uh, they I, can't I, handle anyone criticizing Trump. Like, think about that for a second. It hurts their feelings too much to the point where they will take time out of their day to write nasty comments towards someone who just happened to be in the same in the presence. Of other people criticizing Trump, like if that's not Snowflake 101, I don't know what is. <laughs> By the way, speaking of snowflakes, uh, Kellyanne Conway didn't like how politicized the Emmys were. Uh, here she is talking about just that. Your takeaway yesterday from the three-hour celebrity—I don't know—political rally. It did feel that way. I guess it's sort of the same. It's the sameness. It's it's. They get, they got plucked and polished and waxed and some of them didn't eat for two months and all for what? <laughs> to sound the same and they're, they have a right to speak. But if you're tuning in to watch, uh, if you're American, you're tuning in to watch your favorite actors and actresses and, and shows. And I used to do it routinely as a kid. Who's going to win? And, and oh, she lost and I, I love her I show more. And there is very little of that. It, it's between the Emmys, the Miss America pageant was very politicized. Our sports are very politicized. And it looks like the ratings are suffering. It looks like America is responding by tuning out because they want you to stick to your knitting. They want you to, I guess in this case, read the stuff other people write for you. She couldn't be more, uh, there, there are several things going on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, first, let me address the ratings because I also saw Frank Luntz posted something about how the ratings are way down and when will liberals understand that they're gonna alienate half the country with all the politics and the Emmys. The ratings were down on the Emmys, and by the way, when we say down, they were the same as last year. Just in the Target demo, it was they were down like 10%, I think. Because a football game was on that was a marquee football game, and football ranks at the top of television viewing. Every week, it ranks at the top of television viewing. If you look at the top five shows, they're all football. So put a marquee football game in prime time up against the Emmys, that's gonna siphon off a bunch of audience. Uh, Number two, again, on the same point, politics 
is actually driving the success of Stephen Colbert in late night. Mm -hmm. Before Trump came in, Colbert was languishing. Now he's winning. So I don't buy the idea that no one's watching and the numbers are down and Hollywood, when are they gonna get it? Uh, bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, people are concerned about that everybody's become a political activist. People who had never voted before all of a sudden leaning forward in their chairs to find out what was gonna happen. So I hate this idea that, hey, when are the liberals gonna learn politics has no view, uh, no place at, the, at these award shows. And then the last thing, and I'll shut up. I also object to the idea that actors can't have opinions on yes. politics. Why not? You have to be a pundit on Fox News. You have to be a, a former appliance salesman who looks good and then can speak halfway decently. You get a weekend show and then you get a mainstream show on Fox News. Yeah. Fuck that. Oh. These are well, some of them very well informed people on a number of different subjects. And if this is their forum and this is their opportunity, I don't mind hearing what they have to say. Right, exactly. And and it's their right to say what they want to say. And and Look, they love talking about the ratings and it's hilarious because I would love to hear Kellyanne Conway talk about Trump's ratings. And I'm specifically talking about his approval ratings because <laughs> they are not good. Rasmussen, which leans a little more conservative, has the highest approval rating for Trump at 44%. But if you look at Gallup, it's 38%. I'm talking about today, that's what his rating up is today, and that is not looking good for him. He came into office with incredibly low approval ratings. And so, I mean, look, there are people, as you mentioned, who were never inclined to be political, getting involved and, and feeling, you know, inspired to, you know, make a change. And and you're seeing it in social media. People on my Facebook feed that had never been political before are now getting involved because they see that right now is a very fragile and vulnerable time in in America. And so if you have a People in Hollywood or celebrities who want to make a statement or, or make a stand, awesome. There, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. In fact, even if there were a couple of people who wanted to say something supportive of Trump, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, why don't you just stick to acting? Because I don't like what you have to say. No, they, they get the right to say what they wanna say. And if this is their platform, then so be it. I think, and I default to the first thing Anna said, which is so well put, Snowflake 101. Hey, yeah. it was two jokes, get over it already. Help us build independent media together, tytnetwork.com slash join.